Hi, my name is June, and today we're going to talk about guidance and testing services. The USPF welcomes you to the new normal, and the guidance office is here to still guide you with your personal, social, academic, and career growth, acquiring holistic development. So who can we reach out? Well, here's our guidance professionals. Ms. Genevieve M. Levadea, our Guidance Director. Ms. Maricel Mespina, our Guidance Counselor for College. Dr. Elita Alcui, our Guidance Counselor for Junior High School. Ms. Jejo Marie Calunsag, our Guidance Officer for College. Mr. Patrick C. Flores, our Guidance Associate for Senior High School. Ms. Diane Angeli Simendez, our Guidance Associate for Elementary. And Ms. Amy C. Flores, our Psychometrician. Very well, but what exactly is the role of guidance inside institution? Well, let's begin with our vision. It is to become a 21st century transformative and dynamic service center committed to the development of globally oriented individuals. And our mission is to provide a value-laden guidance program through personal, social, academic, and career service for the holistic development of 21st century learners. Lastly, our objectives is to provide overall information on the psychological capacity of students as a basis for an advanced educational standard through intake interview and psychological test results and research, and also to give responsive guidance service that would empower self and improve the quality of life through student development, counseling, testing, and placement services. And here are the list of services that the guidance office are offering. Individual Inventory Services This service aims to gather information about the students to better understand them. This helps in proper diagnosis, predicting progress, accurate placement, and evaluate programs. One example is the initial interviews during enrollment. Information Services the intentional and purposive delivery of information to students. These informations enable counselors to reasonably guide students from their choices and actions inside and outside school. One way of disseminating information is through seminar or orientation like this video. Counseling Services The core of the guidance program that is a form of intervention that leads to a more effective behavior. This is done where there is a pressing need to talk to the student urgently. Example of students that needs counseling are those who are grieving or has absenteeism problems. Follow-up services Intended to secure information about former students and provide continuing services for students after they leave school. This technique is to evaluate the appropriateness and adequacy of the instructional programs too. There are two types of follow-up services, the in-school and out-of-school follow-ups. Out-of-school follow-up applies to services extended to the graduates to instill in them a sense of belongingness. It also helps the school analyze its effectiveness. One example of this is interviewing former students or their companies or employers. The in-school follow-up helps counselors to know progress for current students. This helps in determining effectiveness of an intervention or program. One example of this is interviewing those who've had a counseling session. Placement Services A continuous program which helps determine the manner to assign a student based on his or her personal and social adjustments. Examples are college admission tests for educational placement and job fairs for vocational placements. Consultation Services This method involves focused collaboration which people who share concerns work together to identify ways forward. Consultation is about joint investigation, planning, and intervention. Examples are parents, teachers, and counselors collaborate with each other. Referral Services Refers to the practice of helping clients find needed expert assistance that referring counselor cannot provide. Example of that is those injured students who needs a medical doctor expert on that field. Testing Services This service helps students assess and understand their abilities, capacities, interests, personality, and pressing concerns. One example is participating national exam or NCHI or personality test. 
Health and Wellness Services is a service that promotes lifestyle change for a healthier living. This includes stress management, recreational and leisure activities, and quieting activities. One example is Zumba every morning. Research Services is a guidance function where the counselor develops and implements research plans that would generate empirical data about students that could help be used to inform policy and decision-making in school. One way of knowing this service is by answering surveys in the guidance office. And that wraps up everything. I hope you've learned a lot about guidance services and the role of guidance office inside institutions. See you around! Bye-bye!